She tried so hard to do the right thing, put her heart and soul into her song, and she fell in love. Hey, so you're watching Owen Kelt. We're in Rough Trade in Brick Lane, and I'm with some royalty here in the music scene. Judy Dybul. Uh, many a collaboration, but we best know you for Fairbourne Convention. Indeed, yes. And Andy Lewis, who you're a producer, but you're also a vocalist and bass guitar player. Am, you do bits and bobs. I'm a vocalist when the part demands it, but generally speaking, a, a bass player and a producer and a songwriter and you know all sorts of things really. And both um, legends, your own, your own right. Thanks but you've also, uh, <laughs> you've also um, graced the stage with other legends such as. Hendrix, Sid, the late Sid Barrett. <laughs> yeah. Um, you played with Paul Weller. Yeah, I did. Um, many years. Bass and vocals, actually. Well, well bass. Mostly. Was it just bass? I, I, or backing I, I, vocals. I, I think backing you did. Vocals. Yes. I mean, you know, I, I, I occasionally sort of like try to sing the bit in start, which is really high. And uh, <laughs> um, the new bloke does that better. Yeah, it's good. Um, now you've both got quite di diverse history of music, uh, you know, in comparison to each other's. What actually brought you together? Because I heard it was a, a casual uh, songwriter session, which has ended up being a 14-track epic album. Well, sort of. Um, we have a mutual friend who was uh, making an, an EP, Billy Reeves, mm -hmm. and he he brought Andy up to for, to record my vocals for okay. this particular EP, which was wonderful. It's on a, on, a, on an EP that has such a long name, I can never remember it. <laughs> yeah, I can't even remember it either. <laughs> um, <clears throat> And uh, we got on well, and Andy said, let's do some songs together. So we did four songs, and mm -hmm. he went off with Paul Weller, and I, I messed around doing my autobiography and my, my anthology and stuff like that. And then um, you he, been busy. he emailed me and said, hey, we've got to do an old album. So yeah. we quickly got more songs together. And, I'd, uh, I'd, I'd played some of the songs to um, some people at the, at the Acid Jazz Records' Christmas party <laughs> at the end of um, 2015, because I, you know, it's a roundup of the year of what I've been doing. Mm -hmm. And um, they, um, I got a phone call sort of halfway through 2016 saying, you remember that stuff you played at the Christmas party like mm -hmm. months ago? Um, you haven't got any more of that, have you? And I thought, well, you know. Right. So I, I we can do. We can do. So I got in touch with Judy, and um, one thing led to another, and, and there we are, four yeah. Songs in, it's brilliant. So we swapped uh, lyrics and music and okay. in each direction, yeah. and it worked yeah. really well. Yeah. And you, you just you just fit it together, yeah. even yeah. as different as you are. Yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, you, there's there's a difference, sure, but there's also a lot of things we've got in common. Which yeah, I think um, you you we were both sort of like products of our um, upbringing and our environments, really. I mean, that sort of weird bit the sort of post-war consensus i suppose mm. i mean judy's you know not all that much older really than me when you think about it in terms of when you think about it in terms of um <laughs> cultural history should yeah. we say yeah i mean born either side of the 60s i think is what yeah. um, what somebody described it as and it's the idea that um the things that i grew up with at school um, as kind of common culture mm -hmm. were things that Judy grew up with yeah. as well, yeah. so it was a shared in you know a sort of shared. I, I sort of grew up in, in in London, and you grew up out of London. Yeah. But, but then I moved out of London. He, he moved, moved into, into London. London. Mm. Yeah. And <laughs> yeah, it, we have connections. We have, and, and there's also obviously because I'm a big fan of a lot of the music that Judy was involved in. It kind of made it lovely to be yeah. actually working with her in, in a way that um, most people can only think about and dream about and <laughs> fantasise about, really. Yeah, you know? and, and yourself, you've, you've not sang for quite a while. I, right? I, I stopped for 30 years. As you do. <laughs> As you do. <laughs> and then I came back into the music business. Uh, I was, when I came back into the music business, um, there were things like sampling and yeah. you know, laptops yeah. and all that, yeah, and, a lot of which did not exist. Exactly, yeah. So it was really interesting. And, and yeah. somebody said, Oh, well, can I sample your voice? And I go, Oh, well, that'd be fun. What is that? And it sort of carried on from there. So I've made quite a lot of albums as, you know, as solo albums. Yeah. But I've also done a lot of um, guesting on people's mm, albums. Yeah, I've seen that, yeah. But you know, if the music interests me and. Then. Then I'll, I'll do yeah, it. Yeah, of course, yeah. So it's and this album, um, Summer Dancing, um, the name, <laughs> apart from <laughs> well, the it, came it came from the song and it just seemed to be, you know, it just seemed to be a, a really good title. Yeah. And, um, and it's all about, you know, how people are in the summer yeah, in the course, city. Yeah, yeah. It's like our, our, it's our loving, loving spoonful. Loving spoonful, <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs>
you know, because there's the thing, you see, when, when we started working together, I found out all, this thing, all these things about you that I didn't know, like, everyone just assumes that Judy is this sort of, oh, I'm sort of this, this folk sort of legend and prog and all the rest of it, but you were a, a, a proper 60s pop kid, weren't you? You, you were properly into oh, yes. the birds and yes, the loving birds, spoonful yep. and things mm-hmm. like That's that, right. which is, you know, where it all is, really, you know. Yeah. And, and, it, it, and I never was really folk. No, Couldn't no, do it. no, yeah. <laughs> People think I am, but I wasn't. <laughs> but so we had that, you know, we had this sort of um, pop sensibility. Well, I think yeah. pop is a very dirty word. A lot of people shy away from pop because they think that there's something intrinsically wrong with being popular. <laughs> but, yeah. But yet, you know, you have a band like Fairport Convention, you know, you have a band like Trader Horn yeah. who are going out of their way to try and be popular you know they, they, yeah. those records are made with the expectation yeah, and the hope that they would be hits yeah. mm-hmm. you know there was no there was no sort of like oh we're going to be precious about all the thing because there was no rules in no, those days no. it was all you know all or nothing it was like off we go it's been, and who knew what was going to be successful and who didn't and part of that magic of that era was something that I wanted to try and capture with this record you know the idea that you know there, there, there aren't any rules so let's let's do what we want let's, yeah. let's, let's and, play and they, with they it. They are kind of pop, pop songs but that, it's mm. because they're short and they're mm-hmm. they're mostly joyful some of them are no. some of them are but you know, it's just but then they're just like little, life, little you know? patches of mm-hmm. patches of sunlight yeah life life ebbs and flows <laughs> yeah. in lots of different strange crazy yeah. directions you know and that's that's something else that we've both got in common in the sense that yeah. we've, you know there's there's quite a lot of water has flown under our bridges one way or another <laughs> yes it has we've both passed a lot of water and yeah and i bet that was the adventure of the writing is just find out more yeah. you know more about each other definitely on the yeah. journey yeah. how long did it take Week. <laughs> well, it, was, it, it, it didn't take weeks. long. I mean, no. yeah, this, this is the funny thing. Um, the initial burst of songs, I suppose, were about four years ago. Yeah. And then once we kind of decided we were going to make this record, November, November, to, December, to, January, to January, February. Yeah, it was basically and done by February. Oh, okay. Four wow. months. Yeah. Wow. And it was it, fourteen it, tracks. Yeah. yeah. And it came together really quickly because um, we both had lots of ideas that were yeah. clattering around in our respective brain boxes, mm-hmm. yeah. and once we freed ourselves of the of the the idea that it was going to be a particular sort of thing, it meant it could be anything we wanted yeah. it to be. And, and he sent he sent it. me lovely lovely tunes to write words yeah. to, and and, and uh, it was just it was just brilliant. It just all worked. Mm. Yeah, I'd sent him words, and he to manipulate them to fit what he thought. Um, yeah, so what you just played with ideas and then came together yeah, and see yeah. if it worked yeah. and just experimented. I mean, and, and the lovely thing about it was that it didn't feel like hard work. Yeah. It was one mm. of those lovely. It was one of those lovely moments where you. It doesn't happen that often, but it's those moments where you're doing something and it stops feeling like you've got anything to do with it. Mm. Yeah. You know, you, you press the button to play back and it sounds like something that somebody else has done, and yeah. you're just enjoying yeah. it as a. As yeah. A, as now the fun. title of the album makes sense. Yeah, 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 yeah I understand it more now. And, and it's, yeah. most, most of the vocals were done at my house. Yeah. With my greyhound lying on the sofa. Nice. Fast asleep. And a lot of the music was recorded in a garden shed in um, <laughs> Bassett Law. In, uh, sort like of the, the good old days. Oh well, yeah, I mean, it's it, it, the, the funny thing is, I think that um, one of the lovely things about um, how it all came together was that we. We didn't trouble a recording studio for any of it, really. Mm. It was was very organic and spontaneous. Um, it's been a fabulous gig tonight and everyone really enjoyed it. It was great to hear you again. Yeah, I know. Which was fantastic. Um, well, I don't know the plan for this album. Um, the plan for this album is, is, well, we have no plan. It, it no. will organically develop organic again, into something. Yeah. Just going with the flow. Yeah. I mean, I think if, if the number of people who um, bought it continues to increase in the way that it has, mm-hmm. it won't be long before um, 
everybody who could possibly want it will have a copy. Yeah. And hopefully that will be um, a, a projection into the many thousands. I don't know, it's, it seems to be, you know... I, people I'm, seem to like it. Which people, is well, I'm sure there's yeah. many followers that have just been waiting for something like this, so I think there'll be a good response from it. Well, I hope so. It's going yeah. to be good. Um, can we do a competition of any sort? Can we give do a giveaway or yep. sign something or other? Mm -hmm. The album, Probably basically. Yes. We can sign an album. Yeah. And all the links will be below um, to hear more. So yeah. We can do that. Yes. We have the technology. Yeah, we have pen, haven't we? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Pen and a pen. box of albums. Yeah, we can sort that out. No trouble at all. Yeah. Brilliant. Well, um, absolutely fantastic to meet you both. And uh, <laughs> thank you for joining us tonight. And um, we look forward to hearing some more. Thank you. See where yes, this goes. I suppose we'd better do something else, haven't we? Well, we might. I mean, who knows? Who, who knows? knows? We could do Someone one. put the kettle on. We yeah. can. Put the kettle on. I like that. Pub? No. <laughs> Oh no, uh, rewind. I knew I'd say it wrong. <laughs> no, I was. I was a... I Bible, not Apologies. Yes. <laughs> Judy Dibley. <laughs> <laughs> Very good. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I bet you get. Hello, you're watching Urban Celt, and I'm here with a bit of royalty in the music scene. <laughs> I'm going to do something. <laughs> Right. <laughs> you can call me Dibble if you like. I just look really, really boss. <laughs> oh, and Andy Lois. <laughs> right, let's 